Hello, my friends. Welcome, welcome. Um, I've been working on Christmas presents, you guys. And I posted my last Christmas present. I didn't do a video because I've been sort of puttering and poking. And a lady named Deborah asked me if I would consider using the same colors or similar and doing them on the tile. And I absolutely would because they are all my favorite colors. So let's do that. So my last piece was a black oval canvas, 14 by 20. And I'm going to use similar colors. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a transfer bloom. So let's do it on, let's do it on black. So this is CIL paint from Walmart, uh, black onyx, mixed with a little bit of water because it's really, really thick, really thick. And I'm trying to remember my colors. I know they were all my colors. And I don't remember what order they were in, and it's not going to matter. So my first color, we're going to do a transfer bloom, you guys. My first color is Amsterdam White, and it's mixed about 25.75 with uh, enamel, satin enamel, white satin enamel, decor. I'm, I'm just like, bleh, 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 bleh. decor, white satin enamel. And then my next color, so these colors are a little bit different. This is the Dollar Store Brownie Tan color, and it was kind of boring, so I put a little bit of Quinacridone Nicolazo Gold in it. So it's just cheap brown. It's the Acrylic Brown from the Dollar Tree. Super, super cheap. This is TLP Brulee, one of my absolute favorites. Okay, and then just to put a little bit of dark back in here, this is Liquitex Payne's Gray. So these are a little bit different than what I used the last time. The same, but different. Okay, so this is an automotive stuff. It's a pigment, and it's called Rock Solid. It is for actual putting in, I think when you're doing like garage floors, and I used a lot of it a long time ago with resin work. Um, and I never thought to put it in acrylic, but I did today and I have in the past and it works really, really well. This is another beautiful new color from TLP. This is Honeycomb. Gorgeous color. And then we're going to do Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold by Golda. And a little bit of Golden Ochre by Amsterdam. And then we're going to blow this all out with black cell mix. Hopefully my paint has settled down. I just mixed paint today. It should be okay. All right. Give this a quick stir, you guys. So my Christmas shopping is officially finished. Thank God. I hate shopping. Okay, black cell mix. And then we're going to blow this out. All right, here we go. The blowout. All right, we're going to set this aside and let it do its thing. And then we're going to flood a 4x16 ceramic tile again with the black. And then we're going to transfer that. This is kind of not quite as thin as I like. One of these cups was thin and one was a little thicker. Okay. So the black onyx from Walmart is really, really thick. And I usually just thin it with a little bit of water. Uh, generally, I get semi-gloss, but this is eggshell. And it works just exactly the same, especially if you resin your pieces or you varnish them. It works just the same. And it actually works a little bit better. For some reason, it kind of grabs my paint, I think. All right, let's find a piece of paper. 
And then we're going to take this beautiful puddle and we're just going to scoop it up and we're going to transfer it. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go in here first. So you're just kind of letting that run on at its own pace. And then we're just going to lay it right back down. We're going to make lots of curly cues and swirls. Now we're going to go, we're going to pick up another little blob. And I'm going to come in the other way. So interestingly enough, I lost my white. Not that that really matters because it's quite pretty. I don't know where my white went though, but it may come out when we stretch it. So we're just going to scoop this back up because we can use this gorgeous puddle again. And we're just going to leave it like that. And then we're just going to do some tipping. Well, that's interesting where my white has gone, and I'd really like to put a little bit, something a bit lighter in as well. So let's take this puddle, such as it is. It's actually quite pretty. Maybe we'll just scoop some of this puddle up. No, it's not white enough. All right. Change plans. Okay, this time I'm going to put a little bit of white base in. That was nothing more than Beauty Tone Velvet. I'm going to use my same Amsterdam white. I'm just going to try to get a little bit of light in there so there's a little bit of contrast, I think. Same pretty muddy brown. Dollar Store Acrylique. A little bit of honeycomb. Won't you be my baby? And brulee. Let's keep this one a little bit on the lighter side. And then Golden Ochre. All right, let's try this, you guys. We could use white cell mix. I don't want to. That would be another alternative. Okay, here we go again. Let's blow this out. All right, so now we do have some white or lighter color. So let's scooch everybody back down into the frame. Hopefully right about there. And we're gonna add another one. This is really pretty, but it's gonna be quite dark. And I really wanna get a little bit of light in there. So same thing, we're just going to scoop this up right like that and I'm going to come in right here. So this time I'm going to go right through this. Meaning I actually pushed really hard so that I moved that paint right in through there. But I'm not making a lot of sense tonight you guys. I know what I'm trying to say.
Okay. Pretty, pretty. I think we're going to give this a spin. And we're going to move some things out of the danger zone. And just scoop up a little bit of this black. Cover our corners where I missed them. nice to be finished with Christmas and I don't really have anything I have to concentrate on other than wrapping of course I haven't done that all right here we go little spin okay let's get one more thing out of the way here before I wipe everything out okay here we go again Let's just do a little bit of manual work here. I'm going to do big stretches here and as much as I really wanted that white in there now I don't like it only because it's a total horizontal band okay what the heck let's add to it back to our puddle you guys don't be afraid to just keep adding I add, I add lots of stuff. I often, I scrape it all because I hate it. And it goes back into my save me for later cup. And that's the way it goes. Okay. Beauty tone velvet. White. And we're just going to stir this a little bit. I don't want it all white. So the last time I mixed my white with the satin enamels, I didn't measure it, which I wish I did because I had like the perfect mix and I had that sort of slightly shadowy, cloudy effect and it was really pretty. And of course, trying to achieve it the second time is uh, probably impossible. Okay, Dollar Store Brown. Automotive. It's actually called amaretto. I've been calling it copper, but the color is amaretto. TLP honeycomb. I'll get this yet, you guys. TLP brulee. Uh, Golden ochre on the floor. Why, why, why? Okay, and black cell mix. And let's try this one more time. All right, here we go again. Well, that was lousy. All right, let's fix that now, didn't I? So all the same colors, or we're just gonna build it in layers.
you guys see? Okay, the scoop up. Okay, that's a bit better, I think. And again. These colors are always a pleasure for me to paint in. These are my colors. See this one. All right, let's spin this, you guys. One more time. All right, again. All right, that will be it. Yep, yeah, I'm glad we did that. I have a couple little hiccups that I have to fix. Uh, just little white dots that are poking through. I'm just gonna take a toothpick. I, mean, I broke the end so that it's not a point and we're just gonna touch down. So if you can't get these little white dots out, just don't worry about them and just go back in later and take a felt tip marker and just touch them. They, they, they'll just disappear. Ideally, I'd like them to disappear now. Okay, I'm going to give this one more spin, you guys. All right, I'm okay with this. I'm going to scoop up this stuff in my save for later pot, which is gonna be in a minute because I have absolutely no responsibilities left other than to keep the fire going in case we get snow tonight and I freeze my butt off. So that means I get to play. I'm just going to turn you guys. I'm going to scoop this right back onto my bloom puddle. And we're going to use it again. All right. Yep, I'm okay with that, you guys. I will bring you guys down for a close up little hand wipe. So last pour I used um, the TLP seaweed and I didn't have as much coppers and browns so these colors are pretty similar minus the seaweed but when you put golden ochre over top of black you get green so sometimes it's not necessary to add the green. Okay guys I'm gonna put you on hold. All right, we're back from a directly above the spinning table. So I had the focus lock on it, so it looked a lot darker and a lot redder. Uh, but now we can at least go down and take a look at these colors. They're really pretty. They are my colors. I like the layered thing. Um, I really, really like working in layers. I have a couple little dots, as you can see. I don't like that, but they're all fixable. All right, my friends, there it is in its entirety. All right, you guys, thank you so much for pouring with me tonight. Uh, you guys are awesome. You know what? I thank every single one of you for your comments and your questions and your interest and your likes. Uh, it's really, really a pleasure, and it's very overwhelming and I am very very grateful so thank everybody so much for your continuous support all right guys bye now for now